Story 1. The Silent Night. The wind howled outside, rattling the old windows of the abandoned Victorian mansion. The air inside was thick with dust, and the only sound that echoed through the halls was the occasional creaking of the floorboards. It was Christmas Eve, and a group of friends decided to spend the night in the notorious Blackwood Manor. Legend had it that the original owner, a wealthy man named Edgar Blackwood, had gone mad and murdered his entire family before taking his own life. As midnight approached, the temperature in the house seemed to drop, and an eerie silence settled in. The friends gathered in the dimly lit living room, exchanging nervous glances. Suddenly, a faint sound echoed through the air, the distant, haunting melody of a music box. Following the ghostly tune, they ventured into the darkened halls, the flickering candlelight casting long, dancing shadows. The music led them to the grand ballroom, where a decaying Christmas tree stood in the center. As they approached, the music box continued its melancholic melody. The air grew colder, and the friends felt a presence in the room, unseen eyes watching their every move. The ornaments on the tree began to sway as if moved by an invisible hand. Terrified, they tried to leave, but the grand doors slammed shut, trapping them inside. The music box reached its climax, and the ghostly figure of Edgar Blackwood materialized before them, his eyes hollow and filled with madness. You've disturbed my eternal silence, he hissed, and the friends felt an otherworldly force pushing them back. The room became a whirlwind of spectral energy as the apparition reenacted the tragic events of that fateful Christmas Eve. As the clock struck midnight, the friends found themselves back in the living room, the house now eerily silent. The Christmas tree in the ballroom had vanished, leaving behind only a lingering sense of dread. Legend had it that those who disturbed the silent night in Blackwood Manor would forever be haunted by the tormented spirits within its walls. Story 2. The Ghosts of Christmas Past. In the small town of Ravenswood, an ancient mansion known as Evergreen Manor stood abandoned for decades. Locals believed the ghosts of its former inhabitants, the noble Evergreen family, roamed the halls each Christmas Eve. A daring journalist named Emma decided to spend the night in Evergreen Manor, determined to uncover the truth. Armed with a camera and a flashlight, she ventured into the decaying mansion as snowflakes danced in the chilly night air. The first sign of the supernatural occurred in the grand dining hall, where a spectral feast materialized before her eyes. The table was adorned with silverware, candles flickering, and a phantom family dressed in Victorian attire sat in silence. Emma, frozen with fear, snapped pictures of the ghostly apparitions. As the clock struck midnight, the ghosts began to relive their final Christmas. The air filled with the laughter of children, the clinking of glasses, and the joyous melodies of a long-forgotten piano. Haunted by the echoes of the past, Emma followed the ethereal procession through the mansion. Each room told a different tale of the Evergreen family's tragic history, lost loves, family feuds, and unfulfilled dreams. In the grand ballroom, a ghostly ball unfolded, and Emma found herself dancing with the specter of a young woman named Eleanor Evergreen. Through their dance, Emma learned of the family's curse, a tragic pact made with a vengeful spirit that bound them to relive their last Christmas for eternity. As the night unfolded, Emma discovered a way to break the curse and grant the Evergreen family peace. Guided by the spirits, she performed a series of rituals that culminated in a tearful farewell between the ghostly family members. As dawn broke, Evergreen Manor stood silent and empty. Emma, with a heavy heart, left the mansion, knowing that the ghosts of Christmas past had finally found rest. Story 3. The Christmas Doll. In the quiet village of Misslewood, an old mansion known as Tannen House had a sinister reputation. Legend had it that a cursed Christmas doll, possessed by the spirit of a vengeful child, roamed the halls each year. A group of friends decided to spend Christmas night in Tannen House, drawn by the allure of the supernatural. As they entered the mansion, the air felt heavy, and the flickering candlelight cast eerie shadows on the walls. In the attic, they discovered a dusty box containing a collection of antique dolls. One doll, in particular, stood out, a porcelain figure with cold, glassy eyes and a permanent, malevolent smile. Its name was whispered in the chilling tales of the village, the Christmas doll. As the friends explored the mansion, strange occurrences unfolded. Ornaments shattered on their own, and the distant sound of a child's laughter echoed through the halls. The Christmas doll seemed to move when no one was looking, appearing in different rooms each time they turned around. As midnight approached, 
The friends gathered in the dimly lit living room. The Christmas tree, adorned with ancient decorations, seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy. The dolls in the attic began to chant in a haunting melody. Suddenly, the Christmas doll emerged, floating in the air. Its eyes glowed with an unnatural light, and it spoke in the voice of a long-forgotten child, recounting a tale of betrayal and tragedy. The friends, paralyzed with fear, witnessed the ghostly reenactment of a Christmas Eve gone wrong. The spirit within the doll sought vengeance for an ancient injustice, and the friends became unwitting participants in its spectral drama. In a desperate attempt to break the curse, the friends embarked on a journey through the haunted halls of Tannen House, piecing together the dark history of the Christmas doll. As they uncovered the truth, the doll's malevolence began to wane, and the tormented spirit found solace at last. As dawn broke, the friends left Tannen House, the cursed doll now silent and motionless. The village of Misslewood would remember the night when the Christmas doll's reign of terror came to an end, but the echoes of its haunted tale lingered in the whispers of the wind, a chilling reminder of a Christmas marked by the supernatural. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video so you never miss an upload.